Hello children, Snuffy has made himself a peanut butter sandwich for tea. Do you like peanut butter, Snappy? I thought so. Oh, here comes Duster. Now what's Duster going to have for tea, Snappy? His plate is empty. Do you want to make him a peanut butter sandwich too? Okay, off you go. No, Snappy, I don't think a dinosaur is going to do the trick. That's not going to be very tasty for Duster, is it? Try again, Snappy. Well, no, Snappy, I don't think a monster worm's going to do the trick either. That's not going to be very tasty, is it? Oh, have another try, Snappy. Oh, that's better, Snappy. That's a proper peanut butter sandwich, isn't it? Now Duster can have tea with you, and we can have the Bible story. And you might recognise some parts of this story, and it might just remind you a little bit of peanut butter sandwiches. Now Jesus had been alone. He had been praying. And as he returned to his disciples, they asked him, Lord, teach us to pray. And Jesus taught them what we now know as the Lord's Prayer. But Jesus went on to tell another story to help the disciples understand that they must keep on praying. And this is the story that Jesus told. Suppose one of you were to go to a friend's house at midnight and to say to him, a friend of mine has come to town to visit me, but I have nothing to give him to eat. Can you please let me have three loaves of bread? And the friend inside says, Don't bother me, the door is already locked. My children and I are in bed. I cannot get up and give you bread now. Now that friend doesn't want to get up and give you the bread, but what if you carried on knocking? What if you knocked and you knocked again and again and again? Now surely the friend will give the man his bread if he carries on asking. And he will give you all you need. And speaking with his disciples, Jesus said, Continue to search and you will find. Continue to knock and the door will open for you. Now what would you fathers do if your son came to you? and asked you for fish. Would you give him a snake? Or if your son asks you for bread, would you give him a scorpion? For even though you are bad, you know how to give good things to your children. So surely your heavenly Father knows how to give the Holy Spirit to those who ask. There we are, Snappy. We did get there in the end with just a sandwich, didn't we? You see, God does want good things for us, doesn't he? But we must keep praying not to give up. We must keep knocking on the door like that persistent friend, and that door will be opened. So shall we say goodbye to our Bible people now? And we'll say goodbye to Duster and to Snappy, and we'll see them all next time.